Good vibe. It's all about good vibe. Oh yeah. What's up guys? Welcome to this video. It is another full day of eating. I hope you're doing fine. Keep that beautiful smile on your face because you are beautiful. Let's get this video started with some energy, positive energy. And this is the first week of my diet, of my mini cup. It is morning time and in this video I will show you my starting physique because I kind of lost all the bloatiness. So let's first do that. Here is my weight and my physique. I first got to weigh myself. It is 9.30 in the morning. So this is going to be my starting weight of the cup. 89.7. And here we go guys, now I'm gonna show you my real physique without the bloatiness. So I've been dieting down for one week, I lost all the water and this is my starting physique. So here we go, you can see I'm not too fat, I'm 90 kilograms, below 90 kilograms. That is for me maintenance body weight, I'm just maintaining right now. At this point, this is how I like to maintain with this amount of body fat, you can see some of the abs, yes, I have some body fat, but you can see the abs are somewhat visible. This front shot, ooh, yeah, I gotta work on the biceps. <laughs> the abs, of course, I trained them yesterday, so they are really flat right now. But yeah, I just gotta lose the body fat, and I can feel I have a lot right here. Especially the love handles. I can really notice when I'm getting lean, my love handles are easier to grab, and it's just way thinner. So my back, ugh. Here we go, some poses back, probably my strongest point, let's spread, oh yeah, obliques, side chest, this is my body so far, my physique, the abs are somewhat visible, you can see them, but there's still some work to do, let's get back to the video. So that was my physique, let's get the day started with some apple cider vinegar and some water. So I'm just gonna do one tablespoon, maybe a little bit more like that. Nothing to it, shake it around and chug it. So that is done, now let's make the coffee. Plain black coffee, nothing to it. <sighs> Delicious. This is how I like to start my day with water and a coffee. And as you saw guys, my weight was under the 90 kilograms. I like to maintain around 90 kilograms. So this is a really good point to get somewhat lean. But also, I don't want to get too lean before this December. I want to get down to around 87 kilograms, 85 kilograms at the most. I don't want to go below that because I don't want to diet so hard so I don't have anything left in the tank for December, January and February so in December the real diet is gonna happen but for now I'm just maintaining I will be in a deficit in a really small deficit but just maintaining and getting somewhat lean so I'm gonna have the same macros and calories as last week 70 grams of fat 275 grams of carbs and 190 grams of protein that equals around 2500 calories and if I weigh under the 89 kilograms I will up my calories and I might do a cheat day I think I will do a cheat day maybe a couple cookies maybe some chocolate here and there nothing too crazy because in December I know I won't have big cheat days so I'm having my coffee now I have an appointment around like 11 o'clock it is now 10 15 and I'll also go to the grocery store because I have to pick up some chicken Yeah. 
and like that I am back home and I bought myself five packs exactly five kilograms worth of chicken and it says seven euros but it was five euros per kilogram so one pack is five euros and it's a really good deal I can't find it cheaper and this chicken is just delicious the smaller breasts are like juicier tastier and this will be my main protein source for the diet I got my protein for the couple weeks and now I'm gonna make my breakfast and I will show you how I make this so I'm gonna have some spinach omelette wraps as always preheating the pan I'm gonna spray some pan spray on there cut up the mushroom thin slices this will do just like that so first off gonna cook down the mushrooms while that's going down I'm gonna separate the egg whites from the egg yolk this is how I weigh out my egg whites just separate the eggs second one oh I don't care if some of the yolk gets in the egg white it is not that serious Third, the last one goes in exactly 150 grams of egg white. So I don't like to cook the mushrooms down completely. I like a bit of crunch to my mushrooms. Now let's get the spinach in there. I'll have half of this bag like that. You just gotta work with it. Just mix it around and you will see it will shrink a lot. Let's go and weigh out the avocado. I really want to show you everything, so this is how I do it, cut it in half, get this pit out, take a spoon and get your avocado out there and in the bowl. So there we go, 40 grams of avocado and I'm going to mash it up and there we go, real guacamole. Back I'm going to put in the mushrooms, going to add some sea salt, some pepper and a little bit of garlic powder for some kick a bit of chili powder just a little bit and you can already see this is gonna be tasty adding my egg whites and just make it scramble out of it and now really nothing to it just make your wraps I'm gonna add some low-fat cheese 35 grams of the low-fat cheese take my avocado put it on one can't forget my ketchup and mayonnaise just gonna add mayonnaise with the avocado and on some of this, of course, the tastiest part, the egg whites, the spinach, and the mushrooms. I should never leave something behind in the pan. And I totally forgot to add some of the turkey meat. So on each wrap, I'm just gonna add one slice. There we go, and now it's done. How simple do you want it? Look at it, breakfast wrap. The mushroom spinach, creamy, tasty, with the egg whites, turkey meat, some low fat cheese, and I've got some avocado. You can see guys, dieting is really not hard. This is my first meal of the day. Here are the macros and calories for this meal. It's around like 670 calories, not too much. It's exactly 1313. Gonna take this, wrap it up, you've got your breakfast burrito and just eat it huh mmm a tasty pile of mess here good pre-workout mmm gotta enjoy this mmm and just make some games for days <laughs> Just loving avocado and eggs, creaminess. Mm. Some people don't like it. You gotta add salt or like lemon juice to it to make it tastier. Last bite of my breakfast. Mm. This was so tasty and so healthy. And to make this meal healthier, I'm gonna have some supplements like always my fish oil, creatine, and this time. I have my multivitamin as well. And Rodriguez, Rodriguez, I know this is not the best fish oil out there. This has not the best EPA and DHA, but this is cheap and I don't rely on supplements. I just take it to supplement that my diet. I'm I'm not a scientist. I don't know if this works or if, not, if it doesn't work. I just take it because I don't know, I just take it. You like pre-workout, you don't need it. But if you have the money, just buy it. And use it. So I'm gonna have two fish oil, one multivitamin, straight to the dome, creatine, one scoop, which as always is five grams. These are the supplements that I take year round. And when I start my prep, I will buy more supplements, 
like magnesium, glucosamine, vitamin B, vitamin C. I will buy a lot more supplements and I'm not scared to spend the money on supplements just to supplement my diet. But yeah, that was the talk about supplements. I will buy way more supplements when I start my prep. But these are the three supplements I use. Do you need supplements? No. Does it help? I don't know. Yeah, those are my supplements. I might have an energy drink before the gym. It is now 1.30. I will go to the gym. I will film my workout, my chest workout. Close the door and it's already time for my second meal. So I'm gonna have again potatoes, chicken and some vegetables. Added some basil cream cheese on top, of course, low fat. And as you can see, some sprinkles. This is Vegeta seasoning, the best seasoning out there. It's like a salty seasoning. And I've got here 190 grams of cooked chicken, weighed out and 25 grams of my low fat cheese on there. Volume meal and I just want to show you with this meal that you can do multiple things with potatoes. So last time cut it up in pieces and ate it like that and this time I just mashed it up just to change it up and also my vegetables change it up, changing it up, having Brussels sprouts and this is just mmm, I love Brussels sprouts like a snack mmm 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 and of course guys I can't forget ketchup on my potatoes, chicken, and why not on my Brussels sprouts. Gonna have some senf, which is just mustard. I love some mustard with my chicken, some of my potatoes, and of course Brussels sprouts, can't forget them, low fat mayonnaise. Just a couple dollops on there. My chicken, I don't wanna add too much. Just a couple dollops for the taste. It is now 6.04 at night. This will be my second meal of the day, enjoying healthy foods. Mm. Potatoes, 
a really healthy chicken protein can't beat this. Here are the calories and macros for this meal. Healthy, high in protein, good vegetables for my fibers, and some carbs for the post-workout. To fill up the muscles, the glycogen. Check in with you at the end of the video, which is just a second for you. And we are in the kitchen. It is almost 8 o'clock and I have to finish this day of eating with something sweet. So I'm gonna have a oatmeal bowl and peanut butter, fruit, protein. First, I'm gonna add 100 grams of oats. Gonna add some water to it. Put it in the microwave. Just microwave it. Then just take it out of the microwave. Turn on, again, the scale. 30 grams of protein. 31 is fine for now. Mix it around. Till you get a consistency like this, take a cutting board, cut up the apple, of course, got to weigh it out, turn on the scale, so we have 180 grams of apple, just roughly cut it. I'm gonna add that to my oatmeal, mix it in my oatmeal, so the warm oatmeal will soften the apple. I can't forget, I'm gonna add some canel, which is cinnamon, just a little bit. I don't like cinnamon that much, but with apple, I love it. Mix it around. Again, take my scale, take my bowl, turn on the scale, and I'm gonna add this whole banana, exactly 100 grams. I'm just gonna cut it in pieces like that and to finish it off i'm gonna add exactly 37 grams of peanut butter and why 37 you will just see in a second 37 grams of peanut butter and my bowl is done and here we go my fitness belt so this is the meal i'm having now so i added 37 grams at the end just to get to exactly 2,500 calories, 2,500 calories. And my daily total macros are right now on the screen, but I will show you that upstairs in my room. And if you just could smell this, the cinnamon, peanut butter, apple, the chocolate smell. <sighs> Buenissimo. Big ass and heavy bowl. Really heavy bowl. Here are the calories and macros for this bowl. And yes, it is a lot. But guys, you gotta remember, this is only my third meal of the day. And this will be my last meal of the day because it is now 8 o'clock and I like to finish my day. 8 o'clock or 8.30 at night at the max. And as you saw on my phone, it was exactly 2,500 calories. So here are the total macros and calories for the day. And I didn't again hit all my macros. My goal was 70 fat, 275 carbs and 190 protein. The daily calories is for me important, 2500 calories. The protein is high, the carbs are moderate and the fats are there. So I'm really happy with this full day of eating. And I hope I showed you with this full day of eating that you can have the same meals every day and that you can enjoy them. Just changing up the things. I'm eating the same things every day, but I'm just changing up the timing and the meal itself. I hope this full day of eating had everything you like, from training footage to cooking, and of course, some tips and tricks. So here we go, peanut butter, apple, cinnamon, banana, oatmeal bowl. Mmm. At the end of the night, at the end of your day, just filling up your calories with this the apple crunchiness freshness cinnamon and the peanut butter banana just a moment of silence let me just enjoy this mmm And yes, I will eat all of it. And here is the proof on the screen with the empty bowl. Yes, I ate all of it. And guys, this is the end of this full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed this one because I did film my workout. I did show you all my cooking and I showed you all my macros, calories for the day. And as you saw my physique this morning, I might have a cheat meal every single 10 days or 2 weeks depending on how I feel. I will keep the calories at 2500. I can notice I'm losing weight. I'm getting lean on those calories. And maybe with a cheat meal, it will be good until December. So guys, if you enjoyed this full day of eating, come on, hit that. That thumbs up button let me know if you liked it in the comment section down below if you're new to the channel please follow my journey and I'm gonna get shredded so subscribe at live live on my youtube channel follow me on instagram at darko boonich right there and if you want to be the first in these videos turn on your notification bell right there and you will be notified when the videos are up and guys I hope you have a great day great night whatever it is in life do what you want do it now I dare you
live life. Peace.